Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm starting a video inside the car and not in the garage like I normally do. And today is a sad day. Uh, I need to go and get the wheels refurbed. So what's happened is that the wheels on the car basically have like rotted. Uh, there's a lot of uh, rust on the wheels I believe on the, in, like, on the inside of the wheel and these basically need to be refurbed fully to stop this so air is creeping past the bead on the tyre. So my first job this morning I'm actually going to go down to the breakers yard and pick up some bits that are missing on the car. So here for example, so in here that little screw's missing just here so that should have a little grommet on it like this side does. So over here on this one when it focuses has a little grommet there that covers it so I'm missing that and I'm also missing a couple of other little grommets on the car so I'm gonna head down to the breakers yard now pick up those little bits and pieces then when we get back I'll show you through the wheels we'll give the car a quick wash and then we'll take the car down to get the wheels refurb right so I went to the breakers yard uh, yesterday morning and picked up these little bits so you probably won't be able to focus in on them but it's these two little grommets here which are for the boot and you get the little bump stop on the boot as well I was missing one of those so I basically picked one of those up and those two there and whilst I was there uh, I was speaking with the guy and I mentioned about the heated windscreen which my car doesn't have so I spoke with the guy there and he said that he's got a heated front windscreen and it has the auto light sensor and the auto wiper sensor which my car doesn't have so I've got the option to do it but it just doesn't work at the moment so I picked up that screen and I'm gonna get that fitted hopefully uh, this week also whilst I was there I have bought some power fold mirrors which I'll show you in a minute in a minute I've got loads of stuff collected over the last sort of couple of weeks yeah I mentioned that I had the power fold mirrors and he said that I'll need the module underneath the dashboard so I haven't got it on me it's actually in the car which I'll explain again in a sec um, but that basically will um, power the power fold mirror so when you unlock the car and lock the car it will uh, it should it should work right so my plan was to finish up there go home wash the car because it's, it's like an absolute mess and then speak to my mate who's uh, helping me out do the refurb on the wheels but he actually rang me quite early and said that he'd finished work and could I meet him now so I basically had to rush home with the screen in the boot which was uh, pulling me pants because obviously I thought it was going to crack but I managed to get the uh, screen home um, I've met my friend and then I basically dropped the car off so we're here this is today Sunday yesterday obviously I dropped the car off so I've got no footage of the car being dropped off etc so what I thought I'd do is I'd basically show you through the abundance of things that I've been buying for the car I've got two boxes to open up down there with some parts in it some are not really that exciting but I've been sort of doing a good collection which I'll, uh, I'll show you now Right, so I'm going to try and do all this one-handed. So I bought some cleaning products, bought some more iron out from Auto Finesse. Got some uh, cutting pot uh, compound from Meguiar's. Got the 105 and I've got the 205 there. Got the uh, black nitrile medical gloves, which I use for like painting and just working on the car. Really, these are these are really good. Uh, what else we got? New wheel brush. New wheel brush there. Quite good. Just gets in to all, the, all the gaps. What else we got? Oh yeah, got a heat gun as well. Bought that, so I'm going to use that because I'm going to be painting tonight. So I'm going to do some painting and use this to sort of help dry. Uh, not that. Taps, no. Machine polishes in there. So this is what every car person should have. So this is basically all the types of clips, pretty much that most Ford cars have. I probably don't need all of them ever, but these ones always seem to break. But these with the um, the little screws in them and I'm hoping in here somewhere I can't see them but I'm hoping I can use these to put the side skirts back on the ST because they've uh, started coming away a little bit but that's good and that came with um, a trim removal tool which I've already got but came with that um, came with some like little foamy pads these as well like cable ties for your, your loom and more um, trim removal tools these are always these are always handy to have these things uh, I've got a, what is it, I've got the Auto Finesse Dual Action Polisher, like the big, I'm not going to get it all out, actually I'll get it out. Right, yeah, so that's the polisher, it's the uh, Auto Finesse, their own branded one. I think it basically works like a Rupes polisher as well, like most of the other brands out there, so I'm going to give this a go. This is quite uh, cheap uh, for one of these, I think it's about 150 quid. Right, I've also, you can see a theme here, I've got the Auto Finesse Aqua Coat. And that's obviously that's good for like a drying aid on the car 
And then for the inside, uh, with all that pet hair that was in there, I bought this, so this should help. I can't really show you on here, but this, like these are rubber bristles, so that should help get some of the rest of the, that dog hair out. I bought this, aptly named carpet, very clever, but this is like another rubber thing that should get all the hair out. Um, oh, I've got this as well for painting, health and safety, but basically I bought like a respirator, which I'll be using today. Just you don't really want to be uh, breathing in all that crap. Right, I also got these as well. So these are from Slim's Detailing, and all they are is that you can basically put your machine polishes in them. So they'll sort of go up on the wall, and then you can uh, put your machine polisher in there, and it sort of hangs on the wall nicely, and you haven't got to keep like getting it in and out of a bag, etc. So they're going to come in quite good. So I've got two of them. Right, now I've got bits for the ST. So I'm going to open up these boxes, and then we'll have a look, look what's in there. Right, so this is the first box. And then if we look in here, nicely packaged, we've got, aha, so this is the Puma Speed air induction hose, and this obviously goes to the crank as well. And in here, this is the, I think it's a PCP pipe they call it, PCP pipe, this tends to split quite a lot on the ST, so I've got one of these as a precautionary part, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this is the Puma Speed sort of hose that I'll show you putting on the cart. What else we got? So I got this, which is the uh, Ram Air induction, but I would not be using this green pipe. This obviously came off a car that they were breaking. So I'm gonna get rid of this green pipe and then I'm gonna use the uh, black pipes that are under here as well. Right, so actually unbox this on the car because it's a lot easier, big box. So this should be, hopefully, the new wing mirrors. Yes. So here we have, these are actually frozen white unfortunately, so I'll have to change the uh, cap, these uh, caps over. But yeah, these are the power fold ones, in pretty good condition, got all the foam as well, which is good, and comes with all the accessories that it needs. So obviously I'm going to fit them with the uh, power module that I've got. Right, I also found these as well, the um, wires cutting discs, so these are actually like the pads, so I've got the 3 inch pad for one machine polisher, and then I've got the 5 inch cutting discs uh, for the big machine polisher. Right, and I've also got these parts here, so I'm going to want to do these... Um, jacking point covers. I'm going to do them tonight actually. I'm going to spray them white, let them dry overnight and then sort of lacquer them tomorrow. Uh, and I think that is it really. There's nothing else, um, no, there's no other parts that I need to do. So yeah, let's crack on with that painting. Let's get these done. So the car will be one step closer to being nice again. So I'd like to give a massive shout out to ST Breaker. So I've actually bought all these parts myself, uh, but if you look on the Facebook page, and search here they basically have everything whenever they're breaking the car they'll put all the parts up for sale and they're quite reasonably priced as well and also i must say the packaging as you saw when i was unboxing is brilliant look at all this all of this left in the garage um but i'm gonna throw all this away as i like to recycle obviously but yeah what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get the paint i'm gonna get the lacquer over here and then we are gonna spray them tracking cross covers because they really need doing Right, well, I'm not going to bore you with how to spray paint, but I'm going to do a time lapse of me painting these items. And hopefully, they should, uh, they should come out good. Right, now all I do with these is I wipe them down with brake cleaner. So that takes all the oils and greases off. So you get a better coat. I'll do this in the pitch black by the way with the garage lights on so hopefully I can see what I'm doing. Right, and also I bought this as well, bought this, um, I don't know what you call it, but a spray gun really, but you basically put that, attach that to that and then you spray away. And that's it, give it a shake and now we can spray them. Now, I'm not going to give you tips on painting, uh, but to me, the best way that I've seen and I've done it in the past is that you just do light coats like that. Let that sort of dry as it goes tacky, 
then layer another coat on and I reckon you could probably with these these are low down on the car anyway you probably get away with three coats of this three coats of lacquer and I think you'd be laughing well right, I thought I'd try the, the heat gun as well for this so I can just dry these parts a bit quicker Looking good, so I think I'll give them another coat. Not looking too bad. Obviously, I need to put uh, lacquer on them. That's only two coats, and that actually starting to look quite decent, I would say. I think what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to actually be sensible. Even though I'm drying them with the uh, heat gun, I'm actually going to bring them indoors and let them dry overnight indoors, so it gets a good bond uh, to the plastic. And then I'll come out tomorrow and I can put the lacquer on, and I'll do the same. But, I mean, it is ghetto painting, I know, but I think you admit, it's not a bad-looking uh, paint job. Right, that's the three coats gone on, so now I'm just going to give them a quick dry, bring them indoors, and we're done. Right, so after that, three coats, a bit of drying with the gun, this is what they look like. Now, I think they look quite good, to be honest, but obviously I'm going to be biased because I painted them. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be sensible, I'm going to bring these indoors tonight. We're going to let them dry naturally, let the uh, paint bond to the plastic and then we'll come out tomorrow or when I get a chance and I'll put the, uh, the lacquer on but I won't film that bit because that's boring and the next time you see these I'll be putting them on the car the only annoying thing is I think these are going to look a lot nicer than the actual paintwork on the bloody car um, I did notice down here however there seems to be a little sort of nick but I'm hoping that will uh, all be hidden anyway if not I'm not sort of too worried because um, it looks worse without these on there Anyway, um, yeah, so next time you see these, these are going on the car. Right, so apologies if this has been a boring video. Um, obviously, you've got a bit of nighttime painting, which was quite exciting. Uh, obviously, I unboxed the mirrors and the new induction kit, which is annoying because I haven't got the car this week. So, yesterday, obviously, threw me with the breakers yard, and uh, my friend phoned me up to say that they're ready to do my wheels. Uh, on the plus side, obviously, I've got a few more bits. I've got the windscreen to go in, uh, which I won't be doing myself because there's no danger of that. Uh, I've got all my new bits here that I've shown you, so obviously they're going to be used sort of bit by bit in each of the videos. Um, I'm just trying to get a video out each week. Um, so today was more of an unboxing and showing you all of the new goodies that we've got. Um, weirdly enough, I bought the respirator for painting, but because I painted outside, I didn't bother using it anyway. But obviously it's there for future use, which is good for me. I haven't really got many more little bits and pieces to do to the car. I mean, the major thing that needs doing is the machine polishing. So all of my new polishes, etc., they'll sort of um, they'll come into they'll come in handy uh, for me. I have got the power fold mirrors to do and the module to do. So there's a bit of work there, and it's really just trying to get all the little bits and pieces of this Fiesta back. So it's looking at its best. So anyway, if you made it this far, thank you once again. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. So you can click up here to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'll get around this area. And if you click up here, you can see the uh, last video that I did on the Fiesta. Anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe.